Well, given that my practice is very much in CAR T, um, I'm going to be uh, very much optimistic and a proponent for CAR T, but this is going to be formally studied in the randomized control study. And I think that is really the, the right way to look at how does CAR T compare to stem cell transplant. So there will be a CAR to six start study that will be opening, um, both in Europe and uh, some of the US sites as well. This will be for myeloma patients, newly diagnosed myeloma patients with high risk features. So we do know that with the current available treatment, the overall survival, the progression-free survival, it's still short for these patients. So, so we need to improve um, the, the response in, in these patients. And so these patients will be um, receiving standard of care induction treatment up front and then randomized to either get stem cell transplant followed by uh, lenalidomide maintenance, which is the current standard of care, or they'll be randomized to receive cell, but also followed by lenalidomide maintenance. So it's um, even though cell is currently approved in the late relapse setting without maintenance, um, this is a, a way to do a more fair comparison, if you will, um, between the, the, the two, two treatment options. So I think literally in the next five years, we will find out in this uh, patient population of unmet need, how does CAR-T really compare against transplant?